guys and welcome back to our channel. We are in Rome, Italy guys and we have an interesting video for you. Right now we are in the historic Jewish quarter also known as the Jewish ghetto guys and this existed in 1555 and this is where all of the Jewish people resided guys and um, in today's video we are starving so we're gonna take you around we're gonna try different types of food here and it's interesting because it's gonna be Jewish Roman cuisine and then after that we're going to a famous market market de testacillo guys and this is where you're gonna find a lot of delicious Roman street food stay with me to this video and this is gonna be interesting let's go thriving place now. Now back in the day, um, this place was actually one of the oldest Jewish communities in Europe. And in fact, it might be, you guys can let me know in the comments below, the oldest like Jewish community then in the Middle East. So we are seeing history guys. Now here also they had a wall. They blocked off all of the, the Jewish people from the Romans. And it was quite sad actually because they weren't allowed to have proper jobs. This was an area where no, nobody wanted to be. It was always flooded. It's right next to the river. Um, and every time they left guys, they had to wear an orange scarf or hold a sign. Um, but that being said, it's such a thriving community right now. As you can see right here, tons of people want to come check out this historic place. And so much history, guys. Stay with me through the video. I'm going to tell you more about it. Okay, guys, as you can see, we are in line at a very popular bakery, guys. And this is a bakery that's over 300 years old. It has no name, actually. Um, but there's lineups out the door for the bread, guys. Um, very, very historic. And like I was telling you guys, like, so much history in the, in the Jewish quarter, guys. It smells so, so good. So many different kinds of pastries. Me and Alfonso were looking at this one like, wow, that looks really good. We're going to get inside and uh, get one of the best ones. Oh wow guys, look at the line here. Oh wow, we came at the right time guys. Again, famous Jewish bakery. It doesn't have a name. It's just very popular guys. So right here we got the two most popular things. This is like, this does look delicious. It's like a cheesecake and then with some berries at the bottom. They called it like a ricotta and um, just like a cheesecake, like a cheesecake. And then in this bag here, it's the Jewish pizza guys. So you can hold that. And it totally doesn't really look like a normal pizza like you would think. Yeah, that is solid. Very dense. And for this bakery too, it's known to have these like kind of burnt little bits, but apparently very soft. And I'm gonna break it open for you guys so you can see the inside. Ooh, it looks like raisins, nuts. There's even some like sort of, it looks like candy. Okay, Jewish pizza, guys. Did you expect that? Wow, guys, very dense and sweet. I think it'll pair super well with a coffee. So let's go around. Let's see where we can find the best coffee here in the Jewish ghetto. Okay, guys, so we found our spot. We got some coffee, and now you can see our famous Jewish desserts. We got the cheesecake here and we got the Jewish pizza here. We just tried it. That is so interesting. Little Alfonso wanted to try a bite too. Here little Alfonso. You want to try a bite? So, Tell us hey. what you think. 
It has like a very thick texture, guys. It's very dense, sweet, and some nuts and also, raisins. Yeah. It is sweet. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? It's sweet, right? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, um, let's try the coffee. Coffee, coffee. Mmm. Cafe Americano, guys. Mmm. And then what everybody's lining up for at this bakery is this, guys. And it's known for having that slightly burnt crust. Look at that. That looks so good. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. A little bit, huh? Oh my gosh. Less sweet than the Jewish pizza. This is amazing. You taste like um, the cheese. Yeah, you could try it. <laughs> you really taste like it's literally like homemade cheesecake. It doesn't get any more homemade. You can taste just like the chunks of cheese, a little bit of sweetness. Mmm. So soft. You like it? Oh yeah, that looks so good. Very good, guys. Famous, famous bakery over a 300 year Taj no name, but is known for having a huge lineup. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna find some interesting food here, guys. So stay with me. Yay! So guys, as we are walking to our next destination, we came across some gold plaques here. And there's a lot of history to the gold plaques just outside of this door. So as you can see, there's a, somebody's name there and that they were arrested and deported to Auschwitz. So what happened was a Gustavo or police would come to the Jewish ghetto. They would take the Jewish people out of their homes and they would take them to Auschwitz. And um, they re in remembrance of that time, now they have uh, whoever used to live here, their names, um, when they were arrested in, you know, 1944, deported to Auschwitz, and then when they died. So you will see as you're walking through this area, um, plaques. Next, I want to show you, we're going to go down, we're going to take a left, and I believe that this is the wall I was telling you about where they kept all of the Jewish people isolated in this area. Come with me. A brief history of Rome's Jewish quarter, founded in the late Middle Ages and located on the east bank of the river, Rome's Jewish ghetto is one of the oldest Jewish communities in Europe. In fact, the local Jewish community may be the oldest in the world outside the Middle East. Established in 1555, the Jewish ghetto was the only place in Rome where local Jewish inhabitants were permitted to live. As such, the city's entire Jewish community was confined to this small area, living in abject poverty and stripped of most of their rights. At the time, Roman Jews could not own real estate and were only permitted to work in unskilled trades. They also had to wear yellow markings wherever they ventured out outside the district. The area was frequently flooded and illnesses and diseases plagued the population. The ghetto walls isolated the quarter from the rest of Rome, so members of the Jewish community developed their own dialect and operated their own businesses. With the exception of three brief periods, the ghetto was controlled by the church until 1870. For a time, the laws of the ghetto were abolished. Although this history is a dark one, today the district is a thriving Jewish culture and Jewish life. In addition to traditional kosher cuisines, the district is a gastronomic melting pot of Jewish and Italian dishes and ingredients. You can try traditional baked goods at the Jewish bakery, dine at Jewish restaurants, and visit historic monuments that pay tribute to the area's tragic past. All right, guys, we found our next dish, guys, and we got it at Baguetto Milky. And of course, we got a falafel because that is super traditional. Woo, we got tons of napkins. We haven't even opened it. Hold on. 
We needed to try the authentic falafel. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, it smells really good, guys. We had amazing falafel in Vancouver. Hi. Shout out to Benny. Hi, Benny. <laughs> Benny showed us a really good falafel place. This looks really good. Mmm. Let's see, guys. Falafel. That's gonna be green on the inside. Mmm. I knew it. Mmm. That's on. I taste so much cumin in it. Lentils. So good, guys. Yeah, you want a bite? Yep. Oh my gosh, so much flavor. Mmm. Crispy, soft on the inside. The owner is sitting right there. He's having that delicious looking tea. And Alfonso's like, what is that tea? I want it, but just the owner's special. Some mint, some lime. So really nice place here. Baguetto, traditional Jewish food, guys. So. Anyways, we're going to continue. We're going to see what we find. Um, don't forget that we're also going to a market after this, guys. So stay with me through the video. We made it to Marchetto Testacio. <laughs> and here you're gonna find local ingredients, street foods, guys. We're gonna take you inside. Let's see what we can find and explore. Marchetto Testacio. Yeah. Okay guys, our first stop is gonna be at this popular sandwich place. They have a huge lineup and it looks so good. They're putting meats inside of a delicious looking panini, guys. So as you can see, they have all of the meats. They even have meatballs. It's like a meatball sub. So many different options, guys. So we're gonna get one to share and try this really delicious sandwich. Okay, so first you gotta pick a number and then we're gonna get the most popular. And even on the menu, it's called Sergio's number one selling sandwich, Alesso de Scotona. Sandwich with slowly cooked tender beef, guys. Looks so good. This place is called Marty and Va. So, Vai. So, very popular sandwich spot, guys. I love that they're putting all the meats inside. This is something I haven't seen in um in rome except for this little market here it's kind of local i'll leave it in the description below all right guys we got the most popular sandwich they look so good we got shredded beef did you see them dip the bun in there okay we're gonna find a seat oh there's no seats here okay there's one okay well we'll sit right here for a second can you hold this for me alfonso hold this 
We gotta get into this sandwich. This looks so good. Okay guys, we found a little spot to put our sandwiches down and look at that. Oh, so, easy. wow, the bun is so soft. That's, look at the inside, it looks like it's topped with some sort of oh, a spinach. Yeah, that's solid. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go for it. The most popular sandwich here. Mm. Oh, he got the quince. Mm. Oh my God. Mmm, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. I thought it was gonna be crispier. Oh, that must be a squid then. Is it 10 oh out of 10? Oh my gosh. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it was yeah. worth the walk, guys. Fonzie, you wanna try it? That's okay. Mm. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. the beef is so tender. So soft. I, and the bun looked like it was really hard, but it wasn't. Oh, that's mm. oh my gosh. Fall apart. The meat, the meat is just like fall apart. See, tender, tender beef. Very simple sandwich. Super, super delicious, guys. Okay, we're gonna continue. We're gonna explore this little market, guys. Let me know what you think. Most popular sandwich. Well, again, the next one. Yeah, the next one. <laughs> Okay guys, moving on to the next dish. It's actually very interesting. It looks like they're just selling pasta that you take home, but you order on the spot and they cook it fresh for you. You choose your meat, you choose your pasta. So this lady recommended we try the ravioli carbonara with a piece of truffle on top and uh, they're gonna cook it fresh for us guys. So that's the other interesting thing about this market is that you can get fresh pasta, take it home, or you can have it fresh here to go. So people can order. Yeah, so this is where you guys can like choose your options. They have the artichoke, ravioli, truffle, and the prices are really good. I mean, eight euros. So that that's like nine dollars US. And um, yeah, guys, let me show you. We're gonna go to the cashier. We're gonna pay, and then they're gonna call our number. Thank you. Grazie. Thank wow. you. <laughs> Thank you, yes. <laughs> they, they're like, wow, is that son yours? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> they always say, bellissimo. Oh, que no, the Spanish say, que lindo. <laughs> Italians, bellissimo. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Carbonara in a truffle kind of cream sauce and ravioli. Let's um, let's cut into the ravioli. I'm kind of curious what's inside of the ravioli. Ooh, looks like looks like cheese. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try it. Oh, these are big raviolis. Okay, let's go for it. Fresh Italian pasta. Mmm. Mmm. I. Oh my gosh. I found this. There is nothing better than fresh pasta. It tastes so good. Oh my gosh. And the sauce is like a truffle sauce, so it has like um kind of a rich flavor into it, and then that creaminess. Mmm. Okay. It is so good. If you have never had fresh pasta, you're missing out. Alfonso, you want to try a little bite? It has some cheese in it. Yeah, someone, yeah, the Alfonso's local. ate the whole sandwich because it was that good. So yeah. <laughs> let's see what there's like cheese in it as you can see. Okay, big bite, Alfonso. It's like a cheesy pasta. What do you think? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Guys, the, the wheat of the pasta, you actually taste like freshness. They're huge. Nice creamy sauce. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. So unique that you can just order on the spot, guys. I have more pasta coming out. 
I think we got the best one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna try to find a little dessert, guys. And uh, so stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this market and this whole video. It's been so fun. Yay! All right, guys, so we got a dessert to finish off the video. We're here at this little place called Mali. Mali. Whoa. Food and beverage and wine and coffee. So we're gonna check this out. This looks very interesting. Looks like it's filled with cream and sugar. Sugar. Mm hmm. Alfonso, cream and sugar. What do you think? I think it would be good. I think it's so. Yes. I, I, it looks like some sort of like orange jam. Okay, let's see. There's some. It does look like there's some jam. Okay. Oh. Good start. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it looks like Yummy, cheese? it's like a pastry. Okay. Probably is a pastry. Here you go. You can have that side and I'll have this side. <laughs> There's some sort of, yeah, like kind of sugary stuff at the bottom here. Cheers. But wait, give me a minute. No, you can just eat the whole thing. Wait, what? Pick it up. What? Yeah. You got to show oh, it to yeah. the camera. Look at that. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. That's amazing. It's like, um, it's like, um, oh, it's hard to describe. It reminds me of like a pie crust. I'm here. Thank you. It's like a pie crust, but sweet and, um, flaky. Mmm. I love Like there's substance to uh, it. This is, this is like, what is that? How's the middle? It's, the, it's great. It's like that Indian dessert we had it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the Indian dessert we had it. <laughs> I don't know which dessert that is. Mmm. Some sort of like, like, uh, yeah, some sort of, it's a shape of a pret pretzel. Mmm. Right? Oh, I can't remember. Really, really good, guys. I don't know the name of it, but it's just a pastry that I has like a lot of cream on it. See, there's some hard candy over here. Candy. Really nice way to finish off the video, guys. Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite spot that we headed to? What was your well, favorite so far, dish? This is my favorite. Asking my uh, for uh, food, the like actual food, I would say sandwich. Yes, the sandwich was I really good. It, I turned into Popeyes. The yes, beef the beef sandwich was exceptional. We actually had another one. We did not film it, so we I could just ate, have another one. I ate spinach, I turned the Popeyes, and you up events. Yes, he, he grew strong. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Yeah! All right, guys, that wraps up this video at the Marchetto Testacio. I forgot how to say it. <laughs> Testacio. We had a great day, guys. We were in the Jewish quarter. We had some Jewish food. I showed you guys the history about it. And this little market had delicious food, guys. So if you're in Rome, Italy, you got to check out this place. It's amazing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. We have a lot more travel videos coming up. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.